This is the OnePlus camera. In this video, I am gonna talk about how to get it on any Android phone. So without further ado, let's begin. First, you need to go to this XDA thread from the description box below. Then just follow the instructions from there. I am on Lineage OS based on Android Nougat. So I just needed to download the APK file. So once you have installed the APK file or flashed it, this is how it looks like. Now let's see what do we have here. The user interface is pretty clean so yeah I like it. We have time lapse, slow motion, photo, video, panorama and manual mode. Now let's jump to the video mode and this is how it looks like. Moving on, here is the manual mode. Here we can control ISO, color balance, shutter speed and focus. Watch this. I'll be frank here, on my Redmi Note 3, the panorama mode is not really working, I mean it's freezing. And I have noticed there is shutter lag. Here is a sample picture. We have control even in the tap to focus department. That you can set the exposure point and focal point individually. Now let's jump to the slow motion mode. The slow-mo video came quite shaky but we need to keep in mind that Redmi Note 3 has no optical image stabilization. And here is the time lapse mode. The UI looks quite similar like other video modes. So you can definitely try it out in case you wanted OnePlus like camera UI. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you have any questions, queries or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. If this video helped you out, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you appreciate my work. It's totally free. And don't forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button because when each upcoming video goes live, you will get notified instantly. That's been it. Thank you for watching. This is Tiro from Carry and Tech signing off. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye now.